What's going on guys? In this week's video, I'm going to teach you how to calculate how many calories your body needs to eat every single day. Now there are various methods to calculate your basal metabolic rate or the amount of calories your body burns every day. Um, in 2005, the ADA did a comparison with various equations and Mifflin St. Gior came out to be the most accurate. So today, we're going to be using that formula. We're going to start with your resting metabolic rate which is the amount of calories your body burns at rest. Now in order to figure this out, we're going to first convert your height from inches to centimeters and your weight from pounds to kilograms. So let's start off with figuring out how tall you are in inches. And then we'll multiply that number by 2.54. That'll give you your height in centimeters. Next we'll take your weight and we're going to divide it by 2.2. That'll give you your weight in kilograms. Now that we know our weight in kilograms and our height in centimeters, we're ready to plug this information into our equation. Okay, so looking at the top section, we have men. Okay, we're going to start with 10 times weight in kilograms plus 6.25 times height in centimeters minus 5 times your age in years plus 5. Now, the only difference between the, the equation for the men and women is the ending. So instead of plus 5 for women, you're actually going to subtract 161. Okay, now this is a basic um, algebraic expression. So when we're doing this problem right here, this equation, uh, we're going to be using order of operations. So what I mean by that is multiplication is going to be done first, and then we'll go back to the addition and subtraction. Before I continue any further, Let's, uh, let's pause the video and jot down this formula. Once we figure out your resting metabolic rate using this formula, we're then going to go ahead and multiply that by your activity factor in order to figure out how many calories you need every day. Now your activity factor is broken down um, into three categories. 1.2 for sedentary, meaning you do not exercise at all. 1.4 if you exercise 1 to 5 days a week, and 1.6 if you exercise 6 to 7 days a week. In this example, I'm going to be using Jane Smith. Now, Jane is 50 years old. She's 140 pounds. She's 63 inches tall, and she exercises 3 times a week. Now, 140 divided by 2.2 is 64 kilograms, and 63 inches times 2.54 is 160 centimeters. I'm now ready to plug all information into the formula. Here you can see I plugged the 64, the 160, and the 50 into the equation. So I'm using order of operations here. Uh, as you can see, I'm doing the math that's inside the parentheses and placing it above it. So afterwards, I can just go through and do all my addition and subtraction. I have 640 plus 998 minus 250 minus 161, giving us a resting metabolic rate of 1,227 calories. Next, I'm taking a resting metabolic rate and I'm multiplying it by her activity factor, giving us a daily caloric need of 1,718 calories. We're not done yet. Now, Jane wants to lose weight, so we're going to create a caloric deficit of 250 calories. So I'm going to take her daily caloric need, I'm going to subtract 250 calories from that, giving us a total of 1,468 calories. That is how many calories Jane is going to eat on a daily basis in order to lose weight. Alright guys, so at the end of the video, uh, you realize I created a caloric deficit of 250 calories. That's how many calories I subtracted off of Jane's diet. Um, now, if you're wondering why I went with 250 calories, it's a safe number to go with. You know, I'm taking 250 calories away, and it's not putting me too close to a resting metabolic rate. It's, you know, it's far enough where it's not going to put her in a starvation mode, or she's not going to be slowing her metabolism down, but it's also enough that tells her body, hey, I'm not getting enough calories. I need to start losing weight. Uh, same thing goes for anyone that wants to gain weight. So if your goal is to put on a few pounds, same thing, you're going to be adding calories and it's going to be roughly 250. You don't want to go too high, um, but 250 is, not, is, a, is a safe number to go with. So I would just add 250 calories to your daily caloric need 
if your goal is to start gaining weight. Now, if maintaining your body weight is your goal, once you figure out your daily caloric need, that's all there is to it. You don't have to add or subtract any calories. All right, guys, I got a tip for you. Now, a lot of people end up hitting plateaus, and the majority of them look at their workouts. They instantly think, my body's adapted to what I'm doing inside the gym. Um, I've got accustomed to it. That's why I stopped seeing results. That's why I've stopped losing weight. That's why I've stopped gaining weight. And they don't even look at their diet. Okay, so that's the biggest mistake right there. Now, think of what, you know, the formula that we just did. One of the biggest factors is your weight. So if your weight changes, so does your daily caloric need, right? Correct. So if you think about it, say you've lost 10 pounds, your daily caloric need is now going to be a completely different number. So every 10 pounds or so, I usually recalculate my daily caloric need. That way, you can avoid all plateaus.